Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to assign properties to structural geometry. In this video, we're going to be focusing on assigning the axial load specifications to our bracing members. We will now turn our attention over to our sample model and we're going to ensure that our specifications page is selected in our workflow page control area and our specification tab in our ribbon toolbar is selected. Let's go ahead and select the beam specification option. And we can see several different types of specifications which are going to control the axial behavior. The first one we're going to take a look at is our tension only specification. Now this is when this is assigned to a particular member in your model, it's going to define it as a tension only member, which means it's going to be capable of carrying tensile forces only. If during an analysis that member wants to see compression based on whatever load case it's taking a look at, what the program is going to do is it's basically going to inact, make that member inactive for that particular run to ensure that no compression is going to that member. We're also going to find a compression only specification and that works basically the exact same way. In addition to that, we also do have a cable definition, so you can define cable members, and we're also going to find the truss specification. Now for the truss specification, this will be used to specify members as truss members, which means they're basically capable of carrying both tension and compressive forces, but they're only allowed to take axial forces, either tension or compression. For our particular model, we do have a couple of steel rods. We're going to define those as tension only members. So from here, I'm going to select the tension only option. Now, most of these axial load restriction specifications don't have any additional parameters that we need to specify. So we're just going to go ahead and click the add button in that dialog. And then we're going to assign this to our steel rods. So I'm going to select my member tension option. I'm going to come back to my select ribbon option. I'm going to select the group command and I'm going to assign this to my vertical braces. And now the model has defined those as tension only members. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.